Good morning everyone and today is Tuesday, uh, Thursday, April 30, the last day of the month of April and we are here again in our garden and today we're going to harvest again string beans, a long yard bean and okra and other vegetables we can find in a garden so it's around past nine o'clock this morning thailand time and let's see what we can get in our garden today so guys we have to water this flowers first and then we will proceed Harvesting our standings after him. So look at that. Wow. I think we will have a lot of standings to harvest this morning. It's 9 a.m., 9 o'clock in the morning here in Thailand. Uh, Wow, a lot of them. But I think after this harvest, hmm, this thing is going to subside maybe a week. Perhaps um, less than or around a week. So look at that. There are only a few who are. There are only a few that are about to be harvested in a few days and then we don't have any much flowers that are following after so that's the sequence of strings we'll get a huge harvest and then subside in a bit but if you continue taking care of that, do not allowing the fruits to get ripened or matured, then the season will be extended and you still get more stringed. Okay, so start the harvest. Most of these fruits are ready. Uh, this one we cannot allow this one to stay. And tomorrow maybe it's already ripe or matured. Like this one. really satisfied with this planting because it's really different from the previous one here we really have this big good size and it's not infested with worms and aphids so can eat raw look at that how many we got here five or six there are other two on top
kababayan we have another harvest of the string beans again only a few plants we planted here we've been giving out a lot of these in the previous days with our friends nearby mm, even my wife took a live video in Facebook last other day with our friends coming over here and helping us the harvest of course what they got they brought it home we're not selling this one we're just giving out some to our friends who really need or wants to eat actually it's really it tastes sweet the raw wow I never thought to have this and lots of string beans even here So I think this is the peak season of this plant here. And then after this, this will subside, but as much as possible, I'll try not to fruit here get matured, being left behind and then ripen because that will stop the season. Well, even if we cannot afford to eat all these, but we have to share with others. So that this will not be wasted. you enjoy watching as I do here oh man and this is all I can say thank you Lord we have another wonderful harvest today yeah it's a great blessing my dear Filipino friends it's a real blessing when you have this kind of plants or vegetables it's hard to pick this up have to use Caesar. Yeah. This one was not able to grow long, but the size is ready for harvest. So we have to check and double check. We might leave some or a few that are already ready for harvest. So I have to do the double check on this one. Mm, not ready yet. Uh, maybe tomorrow or next day we'll have a few to harvest here. Not that much. But today we've got a huge harvest. I think... Uh, I'm not ready yet. Look at that. It's not that big area. And the kind of support and trellis I built, it's not that presentable. 
but I'm not concerned about the beauty of the location or the beauty of the trellis the form I'm not really concerned about that but what I'm concerned is that the plant is healthy and I can perhaps expect great harvest of string beans and the season can last for a long time so that's what I'm concerned about the health of the plant and the number of flowers that I can expect to survive and be able to harvest a lot of string beans so this is all what we've got today I think a kilo or maybe yeah, more than maybe one kilo and a half or almost two kilos of yeah, around three pounds something that's my estimation of the weight of our harvest and still we have a few here to be added in this number so our small cornfield this starts growing even um, most of them are attacked by the larva hatch the hatch larva from the uh, white butterfly eggs so sometimes butterflies look so beautiful when they fly over your plants but actually they're leaving their monsters to your vegetables so it's not that good looking sometimes <laughs> like this there's a larva inside there the baby butterfly but the last time I did to get rid of these monsters trying to eat the stock the inside stock of the corn because it's sweet especially this variety super sweet corn and then yeah, these two lanes here and that area is purple corn and both of these plants are attacked by the white butterfly larva so what I did last season I get rid of them manually using hands and a piece of garden wire and I'll have to feed them with the ants and then keep spraying water yeah the gardening water to clean the residue within the plant uh, it's not that easy planting here even uh, most especially cruciferous vegetables like broccoli cauliflower and um, cabbage uh, those are the most favorite plants for the white butterfly to lay eggs here we only have a few but it's quite long right and bigger Uh, this is the location where we harvested the sweet potato I uploaded already the video in YouTube and still we have a few plants of corn here and yeah the other branch of this tree trellis here is broken I think last night there was a strong current of wind here this area 
and With all the carefulness we can have. Ah, I did not think that we will have good number of string bins here but look six and we just place down two so we've got already eight string bins here and there's still I think two or three more I think this one is really good size it's really in good size whoa Look, have a look here. Do that. We have spinach. Oh, good. We have another one here. Not that good looking one, but it's a string beans, bro. We have another here. I consider this area a liability. Oh, I crack it down. Sorry. Oh, it's a good size actually, but I crack it the the top part. I already consider this area as a liability because I was not able to clean the area. And I put too much organic fertilizer here, the um, chicken manure near the plant, so it burned some of the plants. I only have a few survive, but still, I think today I'll have to clean this area out. And I could still have more string beans to harvest here in a few days. And what we'll, what we're going to harvest next is our okra. They're almost to get matured, but still can be eaten. When you want to know if the fruit of the okra or the lady fingers, ladies fingers, I'm not sure which one is correct. You have to try to pinch here. If it's still soft, then it is still eatable. 
but if it is hard already then the inside seeds are already hard and matured so you just let them dry and ready for planting for the next season but but as much as possible you should not allow that because it will shorten the season or the period of the okra to produce fruits you have to harvest them early uh, i think this one is quite nice This one, yeah, still eatable, but this is about to get matured. So we have to take down this one as well. And uh, I'm really sweating. And it's uh, around 9.20 in the morning. Uh, behind me the string beans that we just harvested and so don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated for another video that we're going to upload so these are the string beans we've got today like that so thank you for watching